Welcome back to another uh, Maya video actually. This could be a Cinema 4D video as well. Um, it's more of a modeling trick, or not a trick, but uh, something to look out for um, about controlling edge loops. So if you're going to be using any sort of smooth on an object, and um, so in Maya you can use the smooth preview which is the three key and then you can toggle back to the normal one which is one. So the three key is just going to preview what the smooth is actually going to look like. So the smooth is up here. Um, it's pretty much just like a subdivide. And in Cinema 4D, it's hypernerbs. But so let's say you wanted to start with the shape and smooth it out, but you still want to maintain this shape. So when I go ahead and I hit the smooth preview and I have these things side by side, you completely you lose all of the shape you're trying to maintain. So that's where we're going to add some controlling edge loops to let the smooth know uh, where to add the smooth to and where you're trying to keep the corners. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to add some edge loops. So the way it's going to work is usually on the edges um, where you hit three, it doesn't really know where you want it to smooth. So it just completely smooths out this whole corner that you have in all of these. So I'm going to add some edge loops. Gonna add one here, and I'm just gonna add them near the uh, edge here, like you can see. And I'll add some here. So now that we have um, three edge loops, we have we have uh, one here, one the normal one that we had before, and now we have one above. And I did the same thing over here, and I added one down here. Now, if we hit the smooth preview, you can see we're maintaining that corner much better than we were before whereas if we smooth this one the bottom lip here is being maintained nicely now whereas the rest of it isn't so if I come back and I just want to quickly add controlling edge loops to the rest of it I can do that super quick you can even use a bevel um, so if you just select the edges and then you hit bevel it'll add two and you can just make a bit smaller you can add a third one if you really want and then it's pretty much the same as what we're, what we're doing um, you can come in here super fast just add all of the detail we need I accidentally misclicked an edge loop I can see that here but I'm just gonna leave that for now now if we go ahead and hit three our whole thing is smooth a lot smoother than this one but we're still maintaining all of that detail that uh, we lo when we lost here without any of those extra edge loops. So yeah, that's pretty much just the quick tip I wanted to show you guys on how to use controlling out edge loops with in injunction with a, a smooth tool. Hopefully you guys learned something and hopefully uh, you continue to learn things. All right, I'll see you next time.